Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us for today's webinar on Tracks on EQ's Pro Point Contour. My name is Erin Vanna, and I'm the Marketing Manager for Tracks on North America, and I'll be the moderator of today's session. Presenting will be Tracks on Zone Cy Eaton, Business Development Manager of Offshore Accounts, and Anthony Zamparelli, Product Marketing Manager. And with that, I will turn it over to Cy and Anthony. Thank you, Erin. We are really excited to launch this month because we've actually been shipping this product for over a year, but now it is available in all markets. The synthesis of this product actually goes back to a specific project, a transportation viaduct uh, uh, corridor in the Los Angeles area that had over four miles of continuous linear direct view product spec'd on the job but the original product identified by the designer was rejected by the contractor because although that the original fixture was able to do these long runs, it required a lot of on-site uh, assembly and, and installation, and the contractor balked at both the excessive labor involved with initial installation and concerns over ongoing maintenance. So in collaboration with the entire project team, we endeavored to develop ProPoint Contour to meet both the aesthetic and design requirements of the architectural lighting team, as well as the installation and maintenance requirements from the contractor and ownership. So that has led to this product that is both a robust IP66, suitable for coastal environment housing, that is both vibration resistant and has a high impact resistance with options for either flat or curved lenses in both a narrow and wide profile, approximately two and three inches. Luminaire housings come in one, two, four, and eight foot incremental lengths. Again, that eight foot helping reduce the amount of labor required to install on site, in addition to many other features, which we're going to get to later in the presentation. So Contour joins an illustrious, an illustrious family of Traxon's existing linear product lineup. We have a number of linear wash and direct view solutions already available in our portfolio. So let's take a moment and consider why we have, why we prioritize linear dynamic solutions so much in our product family. Well, if we're thinking about architectural lighting design, it, it all starts with listening to the architecture and Great architecture can often be captured in a couple simple, elegant brush strokes. So when we are contributing as lighting professionals to the architectural environment, we want to celebrate those brush strokes. We don't want to overpower them. So linear accents and direct view accents become a, that invaluable tool for that sort of practice. Also, direct view linear can be playful and can be a playful way of expressing the activities going on inside these buildings. On the left, we have a linear product arrayed in a way to mimic the, the layout of, a, of human neurons, which is appropriate for the facade of this neurological research facility in Germany. And on the right, a, a swirling pattern of, of luminaires and color, the way the, the idea of weather patterns, which is uh, appropriate for this meteorological research facility in Northern England. But coming to more uh, familiar domestic climbs, let's just consider a typical urban skyline. In this case, here's Dallas. And when you take a moment and look, notice all of the different linear accents, all the flavor of linear, linear accenting going on in this one skyline and really adding character to individual buildings and a new dimension to the overall skyline instead of being just a flat sea of glass and illuminated windows you really have depth and presence an individual character of both tall and grand buildings and even uh, the occasional humble parking garage one exciting way that contour contributes or expands on our solution palette for linear accenting is this play of line weights. Originally, if you wanted to give 
you're building more presence with these visual accents. Well, if you want it to show up more prominently, your only option was to go brighter. But the challenge with going brighter is you start having concerns of glare, whether it's being viewed from far away or close up. So what other options might we have? Well, architecturally speaking, after all, we are all familiar with the use of line weight to add presence. So with the narrow and wide options, you can add presence, add visual impact without adding brightness or glare to your project. And the narrow and wide configurations allow you to scale that linear accent solution to your project, whether you're talking about a 30 meter long overpass over an interstate highway, or maybe a 500 meter span over a large river like here on the Lupu Bridge in Shanghai. Speaking of bridges, this, is, this leads us to the other major consideration for the construction of this fixture. When you're talking about bridges and urban building facades, these are some of the harshest environments that you can put in architectural luminaire. So that's why it was important to design a, a factory sealed IP66 fixture and cabling that was suitable to coastal environments and could withstand high impacts from you know, natural and human elements and put up with the vibrations inherent in bridges and tall sky and the, the uh, higher stories of tall skyscrapers. Aesthetically speaking, for dynamic solutions, of course, we are offering both RGB and RGBW for dynamic color solutions, as well as static, cool, and warm white options for, for a monocolor dynamic effect. And with our launch this month, we are excited to add additional CCTs and static colors as available modified requests for this product family. In terms of housing color, the Pro Point Contour comes with a standard Pro Point gray, black, and white housings, but you can request any REL custom color. Using the incremental lengths of one, two, four, and eight feet, up to a thousand feet of continuous linear product can be powered off of a single power and data feed, simplifying installation and maintenance dramatically. To give you a sense of scale, 1,000 feet is the height of the Chrysler building, or, or for you Europeans, the Eiffel Tower. Or for our colleagues in Asia, that would get you to the top of the building, not including those pesky antennas, of the Bank of China Tower in Hong Kong. We offer dynamic pixel pitches of eight, four, two, and down to one foot pixel pitch. Now, those of you doing a, a quick bit of uh, back of the envelope math, you might realize that often a single DMX universe, a at one foot, one foot increments of four channel color control, we would not be able to control an entire thousand foot run. So please, as you are developing and configuring your projects, engage with your local uh, sales representative or tracks on business development manager to ensure that your project is configured properly. Just a quick look at the compact profile of these fixtures. Here is the flat lens in a narrow and wide configuration. We took a lot of care in the development of this product line so that the luminous surface of both the narrow and wide were, were homogenous. So you can mix and match those line weights on your project without one fixture type overpowering the other. And also, may I draw your attention to the super low profile mounting bracket that is one of the core features of the ease of installation of this project product. And now I want to hand it over to Anthony to walk you through some of the design assets available on our website to support your work on these with this product line. Thank you very much, Sai. Um, so we understand the growing need to help uh, the growing need to have access to Revit files to help visualize the design and to ensure that the solution meets your ultimate needs. 
Revit files are available in all lengths and widths as Sai has previously described. Um, these files are currently available online for the diffused lens and will soon also be available for the round lens. Additionally, 3D step files are also available by request. Should you have a need for these files, please reach out to your business development manager or inside sales team. Installation of the contour luminaire is also quite simple. Full instructions are available both on the specification sheets as well as the install guide, again available on our website, which shows the clear illustrations of the bracket, the clip, and the overall process. The required components for the contour were designed for simplicity, reliability, and ease of installation. The ProPoint data injector, for instance, is available for use both with our ProPoint contour as well as our ProPoint linear. The power input cable ships with an IP66 connector pre-attached with bare leads on the, set on the other end, while the interconnection cables are available in four pre-built lengths, also pre-built with the IP66 male and female connectors. In this system diagram, we get a better visualization of the simplicity of the installation. Having few components and an efficient design, Contour ensures to limit any confusion that may occur during installation. This simple design is extremely important, especially with the idea of having a 1000 feet continuous run on this product. All of the resources that I just described are currently available on our website at osram.us slash Traxon. Specification sheets for the diffused lens in both widths are currently available, and you could expect to see the round diffused lens also online available in approximately two weeks. The flyer which summarizes the data contained on the specification sheets is also available currently on the website. Additionally, the mounting guide, uh, which goes through the details for the overall installation, as well as the install guide are also available online. Uh, the install guide does a deep dive uh, into all relevant topics of the install of the product. And there you are, that is ProPoint Contour, a, a dynamic direct view linear RGB, RGBW, or static white, static color fixture available in two lens widths, in diffuse flat or diffuse round lens profiles in one, two, four, and eight foot luminaire lengths, and eight, four, two, and one foot pixel pitches. And most importantly, capable of supporting up to a continuous luminaire run of 1000 feet off of a single power and data feed. And with that, we wanna open up the floor to questions from our audience in case there's any specific things that we didn't touch on so far in our presentation that you wonder about. Great, thank you, Sai. Uh, so we've had a few come in. Okay, um, is Contour RDM? Contour is a DMX controlled fixture, but it is not RDM. Okay. What is the maximum distance contour can run on RGBW and also RGB? Uh, we could run RGB or RGBW um, up to 1,000 feet with that 8-foot pixel pitch Once you, uh, uh, using 8-foot fixtures. If you're going to mix and match uh, luminaire lengths or use narrower pixel pitches, that's going to reduce the overall run. So again, I encourage you to collaborate with your local sales agent or tracks on business development manager for uh, as you get into the minutia of your project configuration. Great. Um, can the product be available in 347 volt? The product's available uh, with a universal voltage driver of 120 to 277 volt. You have a specific, if you Canadians have a specific need for a 347 volt driver, uh, we welcome you to consult the factory and we'll explore the options. Uh, we have a question on ballpark pricing. Uh, as always, when 
you have questions about pricing, please reach out directly to either your local sales agent or your local Traxxon business development manager, and they can help you with your specific needs for your solution. Uh, another question has come through on um, ArtNet DMX. Um, DMX, oh, we we can, the sorry, ProPoint Contour doesn't natively support DMX over Ethernet protocols, but we do have solutions compatible with Contour that would allow us to integrate with uh, ArtNet or streaming ACN or uh, ENET protocols. Okay. Is it possible to get the product in six inch? Uh, currently, one foot is the, the minimum uh, luminaire run. If you have uh, six inch requirements, you might be thinking, uh, you might have a project that's more of a, a medium to, to human scale application, and we do have some good complementary products that would meet that scale requirement. Okay. Um, is there a data injector for longer runs of one foot resolution? Not at current time. A, each, uh, each run is a single power and data feed shared and uh, each new data universe, each new DMX universe would take a new pixel, pixel uh, injector with power feed as well. Okay. Um, with the one foot fixture, the connectors go past the fixture. Why <clears throat> would you want to use this if there was going to be a visible break in the line of light? Oh, we have a sharp eyed audience member. Uh, that is a great question. Uh, because this is really a, a large building scale product, we expect primarily your layouts are going to use a lot of four foot and eight foot lengths. The one foot is included for those uh, kind of edge case scenarios of negotiating tighter curves and bends. Okay, um, another question on the connector. Um, is it really robust if it just clicks together rather than a barrel connector that you can screw together? It is a twist and lock connector. So, so it, it is a, a captive robust connection that would have to be pressed and twist in order to uh, and then pull in order to disconnect. Can you mix luminaire widths in the same run? Uh, I believe so, Anthony, is that correct? We can uh, mix and match to uh, narrow and wide along the same run, it's the same connector. Uh, so it is the same connector between both widths, um, but the one thing to note is the narrow and wide. Uh, narrow is four watts per foot, whereas the wide is five watts per foot. Um, so we would suggest where possible to use a different data injector. However, um, if you have specific needs, uh, again, uh, as Sai has mentioned, speak with your business development manager and we could sort out the details. Uh, one other thing for, for the individual asking about uh, the one foot lengths to clarify, any of the luminaire lengths can be available in, in uh, uh, pixel pitches down to one foot. So you can have an eight foot luminaire with eight discrete pixels on there. Great. Um, we have a request for um, the presentation deck. Can we send this out to attendees uh, following the event? And I, I don't see why not. <laughs> Uh, yes, we'll make both a, a version of the presentation deck available as well as a recording of this event available to, to share with anybody who couldn't attend live with us today. Um, for static white fixtures, is there a standard 0 to 10 volt or ELV dimming option? No, this is really designed to be a di dynamic fixture with dis discrete addressable control. Um, so this is not line voltage or this is not designed to have the entire run dimmed on mass. If you have that application, we, we do have uh, some uh, more simplified product available that we can explore with you. OK. Um, is this EPICS compatible? Um, currently not EPIX compatible. As I mentioned, we have uh, it's a DMX non-RDM uh, protocol. 
uh, upon launch, uh, but we are compatible with with multiple DMX over Ethernet protocols, um, or we can offer a solution to receive those DMX over Ethernet protocols for the solution. Okay. Um, are there any MOQs uh, available? One. The for those of you who don't know the TLA. Uh, uh, MLQ minimum order quantity. Uh, we are accepting orders for as few as one fixture. Great. Um, how is this fixture addressed? It is auto addressed uh, from from the uh, pixel injector, from the data injector. Sorry, uh, uh, linearly along the chain. These were fantastic questions. Thank you all for for joining us today and. Uh, we look forward to hearing how you will be using this new design tool in your next project. Well, thank you all so much for joining our webinar. We hope that you found this helpful and we look forward to speaking with you soon.